Yo! Video games. Let's be honest, let's be really real right here. Yeah, kill all this, scumbags. This game is technically the Capcom All-Stars of worry. Capcom games. I will snap every... Not just half, but all of the... Yeah, uh, I heard that. Not, not just half, but all of I the... Mean, I mean, um, I like, I like, don't get me wrong, I like my One Piece, like... Snap oh. all of the Logan But bros. I don't know that hoe. You don't know that hoe? I don't know that hoe. She a pretty hoe. But I don't know that hoe. Oh, she, she, a pretty, she a pretty little hoe. She a pretty hoe, but I don't know the hoe. Both, both Logan bros. Snap. I'm not talking about what I got right now. I'm talking about like four. It was Ghost Pepper who sent it to me. But if I only had one, which would it be? Was it Boa Hancock? Actually, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. All right, which one are we going? Koa Hanbok? Um, Boa Glanglock. What game? Well, we have what this, controllers? This is, uh, there's an arcade stick. You get the arcade stick. I get the arcade stick. It's a four button fighting game yeah. anyway. Yeah. Here we go. Patty who? Alright. I love this fucking game. What color was the hair? I think oh, it was shit. blonde. Go to versus. Well, this game has low audio for some reason. Uh. You wanna go what speed you want, Max? Two or three? Uh probably three. three. Nami, no, it's Nami. She's an LED why Nami not shy. It's not I her. love this game too. It was not a main crew character. That's too shit. It was not a mainline character. Blanca players? Ah, oh, I can't do that. Where the fuck is uh, there it is. Yo, it wasn't Zolo, we just like a said. I think it's actually it a three button Nami, fight if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Shy. We'll find out real fast. Cause there's that, that name. It was Khalifa. That sounds correct. It was Khalifa, a member of CP9. Yes, whatever. <laughs> Khalifa. Are you guys experts at this game? Experts? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't wa I've never watched One Piece. Thank you, Tree. This shit was awesome, man. Fucking Chuggly is epic as hell. Statue Max. Oh, shit. Max is the one who says Tifa is white for life. Tifa is the best fucking waifu. You know what's funny? Tifa, the whole character was created and added by the, the writer for Chrono Trigger. Shocking. That he oh, that's the button from, I need. From that's such a quality game to make such a good decision. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. He jumps back in. Fuck it. Damn it. Why is Cammy so DJ is so much fun. Oh! Well, DJ's losing his mind back there. Tifa's number He's one. He's the best bartender. Yep. Max is, Max is a Tifa girl. Maximum. God damn, he just went right through that shit. I want to see what's on the top left. Or top right, sorry. Well, that's Roll Dento, that's Rose. But who's on the top right? This is a game where Dan would shine. Oh! Nice wake up. Oh, I think nice Bison's up. up there, maybe? Hey, who? The two secret characters versus the two secret characters. What about Lucrezia? Barely in, barely in the fucking game. That's true. Man, I watched someone try to do a video review of fucking Dirge of Cerberus. That game's a mess. I have to say. Oh, shit, my bad. The story of that game's a mess too. Like, holy shit! Look at the Hewitzel uh, statue in the background. Yep. Yeah. Hey, who? Don't talk to me. Shut up. I'm singing. I like karaoke. Hey, who? Don't talk to me. You turned her into fucking rocks. My well, singing's so good. You blow up like Mega Man. Man. <laughs> Anywho! I think Max might have actually beaten Dirge of Cerberus. I did when it came out. I don't think he remembers anything else about it. I don't it. remember anything else about it. I remember there was a little girl in it, that was about it. It stinks! Yeah. 
Yeah, Jesse, mini anime Vasquez was best waifu. Oh god. Yes, Kato created Tifa. Holy smokes. That, that, that poor, that poor delusional man. Woo! Holy shit. Pop the top. Oh shit. Oh, that's funny. I... <laughs> I thought I texted Trina, I actually ended up texting Max Hilarious. Nice! That's fantastic. And Max was like, yo, that's cool shit. That's yeah. some cool shit, dude. <laughs> fantastic. I'm like, yo, Max, we're gonna open your mail time package, come on! Hey. <laughs> hey, Stop it! Just sat lonely in one of the astrophabs at family fun. No, it was for a while. It did have a small little bit of like. The only people I ever saw classic. playing this. Oh game. no, it's one one. It's one one. Near the end was just like the bored girlfriends, just waiting around. Ah, that happened a lot at that arcade. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I think that's why they put the Astro Caps in near Speaking the end. Speaking of board girlfriends, you could, like they could just sit down. And remember the number one board girlfriend of a certain player that played Street uh, a lot of uh, versus games. Is that my third show? Uh, versus games. A guy who we're not gonna say names. Uh -huh. We're not gonna mention any names. Uh, this is gonna be hard. But a guy <laughs> who played a lot of versus games okay. was really good. Uh -huh. But a certain girlfriend that played fighting games really good too. And me and you are like. Oh! Right. Was, was it Third Strike? Because I think I know what you're talking about, but it was Third Strike. Well, there wasn't. There was an Asian girl that played Third Strike. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was literally fun. Yes. Yes. Jeez. There was a girl godlike at that game. But there was another person. Yeah. He's really good at versus games. I'm just gonna mute the fucking stream so you can fucking say it. Yeah. Or oh, mute it. All right, I'm muting the stream so he can just say it. Welcome back to the stage of history. Hey. Yeah. You, you, I can hear how, how are you so attracted to John Lovitz? Oh, hey, that guy was that. very funny. Yes, how is it? Uh, John Lovitz used to play at the arcade? That's yes. insane. He's a very funny man, Max. He's a very funny man. Exactly. True story, chat. True story. Uh, I was playing in the arcade, and I met this uh, random black guy that played uh, fucking Street Fighter oh! uh, uh, Street Fighter versus X-Men or X-Men versus Street Fighter we ended up playing a bunch of times he came into the arcade this is Jamal right no he came into the arcade with these two <laughs> badass girls man <laughs> these girls were thick as fuck they both came with him. They were wearing the skimpiest fucking outfits. Ooh. They came with him to the arcade, and he was playing the games, and he was super loud. This dude was mad ghetto, all fucking laughing up a storm, having a blast, and it was just like me and him right, playing in the arcades one night. And uh, this guy apparently was like a regular, right? He comes in there, plays the game. He's fucking terrible at the game. Mashing buttons, going ham. And being all loud, and I was, and I'm having fun with him because he's just having fun uh, playing so you, the game. So you beat so him I up, give, and you took his women. I you know I, I I I let him play. I beat his ass a couple of times. Then I give him a win because I was like, okay, I get it. You know, he's, I don't want to you know oh, to tear him up, right? I let him win, and he takes off with the two badass girls, and you know, and he leaves. And one of the other dudes in uh, the arcade comes up to me. He's like, do you know who that was? I was like, no, who was that was? And he was like, dude, that's a porn star. Nice. I'm like. What? He's like, yeah, he does all these like ghetto ass porn star star stuff. I'm that's pretty awesome. sure that's one of his chicks. I'm like, you know what? Makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, remember I girlfriend? Those I met at Family Fun. Things. Who who was able to recognize him? Though? Uh, one of the dude fucking arcade Tammy was like, yo, you know the that porn is? expert Steven. Yeah, that guy. guy. That I've guy. Seen, I've seen his dick. <laughs> that guy. Oh yeah, he was all over the place. I've seen that guy's dick. Oh, he was he's everywhere. You want to see my dick? Super hilarious, man. I, I don't know, I don't know the guy's name, but it was fucking a hilarious thing. I'm of course with the fucking baddies are with him. Of course. Share the wealth. Please. Share the load. I heard all over the place, you, dude. You remember when I met my girlfriend at Family Fun? 
you remember your girlfriend from Family Fun? When I met the, my, my girlfriend at Family Fun. Oh. Banging, super crazy booty, and then I went out with her, and I'm like, damn, Steve, like, she asked me to go out, and you gave me advice. And I'm like, Steve, I'm on a date with her. And you're like, Caddy, fucking do it. Seal the deal. Uh, this was years ago. I don't remember any of uh, what, dude, That sounds like you're making this up, Kenny. Nope. It is fucking true. I think you're making this up. Oh, no. Banging booty. Super banging, but we came into Family Fun. We're like, oh! <laughs> dude, there's so many girls that are like, ah! I don't... Yeah, there was a few girls that were like banging, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like one girl I met, I knew her from GameStop. She worked at GameStop. She came into Family Fun. Uh -huh. And like, I, I, you know, we were talking. I went for her. Uh -huh. And like, we went out. I'm like, yo, Steve, I'm out with her. And like, you know, you're like, Kenny, you close the fucking deal right now. Uh -huh. And I listened to you, and I, and I closed the deal. Huh. Slapped you in the face. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right in the face. Deal sealed. Uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, you sold yeah, yeah, I need you, you sold her a pre-owned car? Well, she was at, They're going to ever say assholes. Oh, fuck. And she had a... Bow! She had a... And I was like, yo, Steve, rumps. yeah. The scum center rumps? Yeah. What the fuck? Did she dress up as a dinosaur? I guess, right? She, yeah, that also makes sense. She changed. She changes. She's a little kitty dinosaur. Don't worry about it. I guess right. This game is Power Stone done well. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna say Ow. Ow. Right now. <laughs> that Ow. Ow. This game is Power Stone but fun. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Kenny's in pain right now. Jeez. Painful. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. I fucking texted Max. Yeah, this is a while ago, man. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm like, can okay, you close the deal? I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay, yeah. See. <laughs> oh! Fucking holy shit! Like, who the fuck did I think I text fucking? No, I thought I text fucking Tree over here. Did you text me? Yeah, I text. I'm like, text I'm like, him. hey, text we're opening the package. We're gonna open the package, bro. <laughs> They're like, oh. <laughs> I was texting fucking Trey. Damn it. You, you push as many buttons. This is the game where you can actually mash and get away with it. Ah. Oh, my phone's just kind of thick in this, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. A little thick. Sid, they're not. They're they're all adults. They're all four years old. They're all adults. Sid, please. That about a cheap Which character? I use Ryu, duh. I'm Tetsu, like, thank I'm like, you. seriously, I think, which character did I used to use? Oh, dude. Uh, hey, who? A different level, please. Like, okay, wait, let me pick. Okay, go. Ooh, Beach. I love the Beach. Beach are the beach. ice one is really good. Yeah, Beach is good, and then we'll go ice after. It's two out of three, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wasn't one of the maps had Mega Man in it, or no? Mm -hmm. Well, no one turns into Mega Man. Oh. Uh, it's a grab. Got it. The only reason I, the reason I like this game so much is that it's a fucking wonderful celebration of Capcom in the '90s. Yeah, they you made see, games that were funny. See Capcom, you see, uh, you see Dark Soccer's characters. There's like so much crazy references all over the place. Mm -hmm. Fucking. Riku O is stuck in the mouth, and Dalsim is, is is wife is on top of the uh, no, the, the way, way, way background, the statue. Oh, the statue. The, the yeah, Sagan's statue. And then, uh, guy from Dog Stalkers. Dalsim's waifu. Yeah, Dalsim's uh, blue-haired wife. The female Holy Mega Man. Shit. She went in right there. Oh, that's right. And there's some Resident Evil nods in here, too, and a couple small ones. Who's the blue chick or the chick with the blue? Uh, it's Dawson's wife. wife. Oh shit! Ellen has waited a lot. Okay, there it is. That was what I was looking for. Ah, oh, look at wow, she looks great. Holy fuck! That's the thing, man. I just want this game, but not in not in SD cheapy style. But nowadays, with Capcom characters all over the fucking place. Just everything is a wonderful celebration of Capcom characters. Make it happen! Thank you. How come this is like One day I'll stream loud enough where it'll actually someone in Japan will hear me. You're right. Capcom doesn't like money matches. Yeah, that's the problem. The what fucking the fuck? Dragon Ball. What, what is going on? 
Oh, now I got electricity arms and shit. Hey, keep going. I got. I, I know how to push buttons. Howdy oh, ho! Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> I think Akuma was nuts in this one too. Hurricane! Oh, someone transforms into Leon? Really? Because when you, when you mash the auto combo in this game, you get transformations. Can. Yeah, yeah, certain, they certain, they, There were certain combinations. Punch, kick, punch. And they'll punch, make it a punch, mobile punch, game. Kick, kick, kick. Oh my god, please, Max, don't say that. What? I know, and they'll make it a mobile game. Yeah, oh, yeah they that will. Shit, if they haven't already. You know what's funny is like, this would, probably, oh, now snow. this would probably be like the perfect game to make a mobile game, honestly. This seems like it'd be the You would perfect. think that Puzzle Fighter would have been a perfect game to make a mobile, mobile game, game too, right? right? Yeah. yeah, and they did, and then they stopped making it. And then they and then they canceled it. Now comes have a lot of bad luck with mobile. They have, they. Oh, yeah. Is that why they're putting fucking Street Fighter with uh, Power Stone? Or not Power Stone, Power Rangers? Power Rangers. Jesus, man. Yeah. What that's are they that's thinking, pretty weird, dude? right? And you know what the funniest thing about that reveal was? I went to the the, the like the official Power Ranger game like YouTube page where the where the trailer was actually shown. Right. And Man. all the people in the comments were just mad because they were the people that were playing the Power Ranger game before there were Street Fighter characters in it, and they just wanted other Power Ranger characters. Yeah. They were just mad like, why is there With Street, Street Fighter? Fighter like, right? Why? Why? Where is where is this so and so Power Ranger? Where is this? What's going on? Yeah. Where's Dino Thunder? Some shit like that. Yeah. Nice. There's a little Benny over there if you look at him. Oh, I'm going to go. And someone in chat's going to love that. Where's Benny? Oh, that little bar ready. Yo, his house is too small for that dog. That is way too small for that dog. What was the series? What was the one where Tommy came back and he was like a mentor? Dude, Balrog is up at the top holding on to one of the ski sleds. <laughs> oh, look at her! Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> nice. you, know, you know what is cool? All the extra Capcom costumes are adding to the game. They put Ryu as Arthur, and they put Bison as the devil. Uh, it looks pretty oh, neat. Uh, crazy, so Ryu man. has Ryu has just boxer shorts. Oh, who are the samurais? Like, who are the like samurais the, right there? Um, Sodom. Well, one Sodom, and the other one is uh, Darkstalkers. Oh my God, it's Spirit Facebook. Bomb. Spirit Bomb, thank you. Yeah, you only need a Spirit Bomb. Uh, Bishamon. Bishamon, there it is. Wait, uh, wait, so you fat fucking halfway. Oh, we're gonna go another Yo, stage. Oh, I mocked him. Blow you. Hit one button. Is it easy? Uh, okay. Good stage. Well, that gold one looks cool. The gold one, that's like Christmas shopping. Oh shit. This is a very Power Stony stage. Oh, here you go, Kenny. Look at BB Hood. Look at BB Hood back there. Yeah, it's just making Making drug deals with... What the fuck? Dude, she's got a gun to his head. Oh, crazy. That's dark as fuck. Look at her face. She's waving a flag. Dude, BB Hood is easily one of the is best. Is that a hammer? Or a BB Hood is one of the best female fighting game characters of all time, in my opinion. She's creepy as fuck, man. Oh, and just in terms of overall character. Ami, thank yeah, you. Yeah, Bauer was looking a little like Steve right there. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I love her secret tongue. Yeah, Big old chun doll. Yeah. He's appreciating uh, the artwork. Thank you, Simmons. Uh -huh. Appreciating the artwork. This is a kid's game, Simmons, please. Oh, so if you want to get real creepy. Oh! 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 Go, go all the way to the left where oh, Bison's holding the hands of Cammy. Hold on, let me see. Oh, go, and it's, go, go and it's little left. girl Cammy. Alright, I'll go. Yeah. What is she doing? Wait. She's jerking him off. Oh, yeah! That look weird! That look weird, bro! Yo, what is she doing? You're welcome! Oh, you're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't notice that Donovan is up there looking yeah. for Anita. Anita's down there. Oh, yeah. shit. And Anita's, like, hiding from him or some shit? And then there's, like, the plasma sword or whatever chick. Plasma sword? What is plasma sword? It says plasma sword. Oh, I think it's right fucking yeah. June. Oh, yeah. wow. That's fucked up. You're welcome! <laughs> thought I'd say hey, you're welcome! welcome. <laughs> for putting that image in your head. <laughs> That's like the is behind. Oh my god, it's Jin's fucking robot in the top left. Yeah. What? It's Steve, the Blodia robot. So Steve won. Uh, you go next. That's dope. That is really sick. What did I say? 
Except you're welcome. <laughs> That's like the first time I heard. Oh, who put you quit. press the button, Steve? What the fuck? I'm pushing buttons, you, not you actually. Motherfucker. I'm you, not pushing. You, I'm just pushing buttons, you, not actually moving. You're always mad at yourself. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, I gotta go with waifu here. He turns into Jill. Ah, pink, nice. Jill turned into Jill. Yes, Night Wang. We get what it's supposed to be, but what it actually looks like is a different thing. There you go. It's like the guy's knee in the in the little mermaid. Little movie. mermaid, the horny priest. Yeah. Was it his knee? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mike Young actually talked to me, a guy who was in charge of that sequence animation. Was, he's like, you know what? I don't know if it was or wasn't. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. I just... All I know is somehow I didn't catch it, and neither did anyone what else at the time. <laughs> But what they said it was disgruntled, uh, um, it was well, disgruntled. The well, there's a rumor that the poster was from a, a overworked disgruntled Yeah, artist, it's but, disgruntled, uh, animator. But the, the, the priest boner is like a different thing entirely. Well, there's different stuff. There was like clouds and fucking, uh, what is it, um, a Lion King? The clouds had like They're fucking... supposed to say SFX, yeah, but it looks, just looks like sex. Yeah. Dude, it was the boner castle in Little Mermaid. Unapologetic. Boner. Yeah, that one's still like debated, but it's like, yeah, that's the one where like they think it's a disgruntled like artist. Yeah, blue, yeah artist. Guess right. what Tessa's from? It's Red Earth. Earth. Weird ass Capcom game called Red Earth. It's like yeah. a fighting game RPG, like Dungeons and Dragons style thing. Yeah. I think you're literally talking about your sister. I'm like, what? What? No, yeah, Tessa, this character, cool magic chick. So look, the transformations go, you can go punch, kick, punch, punch, Nintendo punch, punch, 64. Kick, 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 and you can do different transformations. Or you can go punch, kick, kick, kick. What can I say? Oh, you're welcome! <laughs> She's jerking! She's a little girl, a little girl, Simmons. Little girl. Japan, Japan, man. <laughs> well, okay, what are you gonna well, do? Japan. But I think we're treating her, oh, she, she turned she in. into the plasma sword chick. Yeah. Oh man, I have the super gun. I gotta say, that, that movie was better than the Frozen. Oh, good oh, of course! <laughs> oh, of so course. many movies were better than Frozen. You, there's a whole... There's a whole fucking train of Disney movies that are better than Frozen. Not chicken mm. yeah, not <laughs> You know what? I don't even remember that game, our movie. Uh, glad you, you know what? <laughs> or what's the other movie? Um, the one with the uh, with the future shit in the family. And the oh, Ethan Robinson. Ethan Robinson. I'd say Chicken Little is a little bit better than Frozen. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! Ethan oh. Robinson's a movie that had a nice idea, but a sloppy as fuck middle. Yeah. Oh my Jesus god! Christ. Oh my diamonds. Yo! Goofy movie was the best. Dude, we were at MomoCon and there was like a whole crowd karaoke and go. Yeah, through. they're in the uh, they're on the lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nuts, it was man. Like, Moana wasn't better than Frozen. Holy <laughs> shit! There's someone in the that? world that thinks bad that. Was bad that Ender's troll? game. Who was it? A troll or was he serious? No, I, I bad Ender's game. You know, that is a funny, a uh, funny you're, joke. You're a funny guy, Sully. You're a funny guy. Wow. That's why I'm gonna kill you last. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm sorry. I was right, like, as long as you're sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. want to, I honestly didn't want to do that. The stage gives me power Frozen because it's magical. Was... Oh yeah, it does. Give me that. Frozen's a mess, is what it is. Yeah, it is. Look, you have your opinion. What about that one? There you go. I respect the, uh, the chick but with the red my hair. My goodness, Brave. Frozen. Brave. That was trash. Brave sucked. Yeah. Well, Brave is a Pixar film. Yeah, but still, like probably their worst movie. Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah. Brave is bad. I. Well, maybe because I just took um, the emotion movie a little too deeply. That's why I couldn't get through it. The emotion? Inside Out. Inside Inside out. out. I loved Inside Out. Kenny's the I, only person I know who didn't like that movie. I, yeah, I loved movie Inside a little Out. Too serious. I never saw it. So why I would they take that movie out. serious? Because like when the daughter was just fucking like all depressed and a manic depressant, I'm like, damn, that's deep. It's that's a kid. hard. I haven't oh, seen Good Dinosaur, movie, so I don't know. Like, Good Dinosaur could be the worst Pixar movie, but I never saw Good it. Dinosaur. It's really, it's just paced terribly, dude. Yeah. Like you watch it, you're just like, the fuck is going on in this film? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. well, you know, yeah, uh, what? You know, like Solo was also kind of like bad pacing. Oh, you saw it. The reason yeah, I why Solo. I would say that the Cars movies, but it was a it was a fun movie. The Cars movies are not the worst 
Well, Brave is worse than the Cars movies oh, because by far. because the Cars movies like them or hate them, they at least are consistent for what they are. Yes. Brave is like this movie that is like so fucking obviously switching directors in the middle of it. Team like it DJM. suffers hard for it. Why wow, you just gave me all the what the fuck? You Uh, oh my god, the box. I need to see the good dinosaur. That's the only Pixar movie I have. Holy it shit! It went through it! <laughs> I don't know why. I heard it was just not that good. Hmm. Max and apparently saw it. It's a I, I'll it probably, I'll good probably, dinosaur. I randomly watched it with Jessica at some point. I don't oh, really yeah. remember. I'll probably it's like have on Amazon to, or some shit. I'll probably have to just like it watch. Was, it was weird how it always looked so uninteresting. I it really out is. Without such Reaver Th uh, the Ripper or Therapy says uh, Solo was so fucking good. It was like a like really good. Solo for me was a seven, a seven out of. So it wasn't a total train wreck. No, it wasn't a total train. Wreck. Good, there's just nothing good about Good Dinosaur. Like, it doesn't look good. It doesn't yeah. really. Well, it's got like hyper realistic. Um, environments with super super cartoony or characters characters and, and creatures and it's like why would you it reminded me of that other dinosaur fucking movie they made dinosaur mm. yeah dinosaur <laughs> the other <laughs> dinosaur <laughs> movie you know dinosaur that one what was it like it uh so they should have called it like the average uh you know the average dinosaur instead of the good dinosaur there was dinosaur and good dinosaur they're really not hitting it out of the park with dinosaur movies so. i feel you uh almost like Baki. Who's in a race Baki's to the bottom? Baki. We're gonna be worse than we're back. You know, I'll bet half the fucking- That was a counter. But half the fucking chat loves we're back and dinosaurs too. No, you do. Fine. Fuck assholes. I don't know what to do. I, I didn't even finish fucking- I wanna see tournaments with this game. I honestly didn't finish because I was just thinking too much about the girl. Yeah, like, that before time is the best dinosaur movie. Dark as fuck. Yeah, Land Before Time was great. One. Yeah, and just they, one. then they just ruined it. Yeah, just like, one. Fucking. That's what. <laughs> that's what they do with Lion King. They don't give a shit. Before, before he became the internet enemy, like they inter interviewed. Uh, See, look at the background. Oh, oh boys! Oh, shit. Wow! Oh, what is that? Holy boys. shit! Boys. Boys. The Star Trek interview. Oh, Jordan, the we got Bison. Land we got one. They're like, have you seen any of the other ones? He's like, no. <laughs> just fucking run in the air. What the hell was yeah, that? Yeah, that's Shenko. It's a ghost. That's right. Or she's undead or some shit like that. I think. Piss right. off, girl. All right. Now, now, what is your best Pixar movie, Simon? The oh. best Pixar movie. Oh. Up. Oh, really? Oh, that's my ass. I mean, it could change someday. Who knows? But... All right. Like anyone Bob's, else? Up is my Bob's my favorite still. I think. I love them. Uh, I'd say Bugs Life. Like Bugs Life? Yeah, really. Really? Good. Yeah, man. I don't think I'm much of a big fan. Oh, dude, look at John Albain right now. I don't think it's bad. I just think it was. Guy is sitting in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. For me, well, there's two. There's two. Uh, uh, Monsters Inc. has a special. What do you think is really good? Monsters Inc. has a special place in my heart because back when my daughter was like an infant. Like two, and like had like no attention span. I could put on that movie, and she wouldn't move for shit. So when I was tired as fuck from like working and doing all this shit, you like Monsters Inc. Like the way yeah, my dad that, likes my Game Boy. Yeah, exactly. yeah like, hey, I love Monsters Inc. I was like, hey, I love Monsters Inc. You have, don't give a shit about the movie. That's why <laughs> I would put on Monsters Inc. My daughter would sit there, not move when she had no attention span, and I would fall asleep to the point I'm like, I know this movie's a hundred and. 19 minutes. No! And I would put my alarm clock for 119 minutes and sleep and then wake up and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, you want to watch it again? Yeah. Put it on again. And Incredibles sleep. was great. Incredibles it was, was great. I, I, I it had a special really place in my heart. But I, I think of Bugs Life. Just, yeah. I, you know what? It was amazing. You know why? Because the bad guy was, was unapologetic and he yeah. fucking killed people in the movie. And it just, it, it was, was incredible great. to me. But if I had to pick the best one now... <laughs> um, which was, um... Which is Coco. Coco was fucking awesome. Yeah, Coco? Okay, so Coco to me, like, half of the film was pretty good.
And I was like, this movie's not bad. I don't see why everybody likes it. Yeah. Second half of the movie fucking goes in. <laughs> Second half of the movie is like, I'm gonna fucking make your emotions, you being a human, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, fucked you're, up with that. Get, get ready. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you're gonna get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. bro. Coco broke me. <laughs> Dude, they broke me so it's many like, ways, bro. I was saying like, it's like top, it's top five. Fucking yeah. bitch. Like, you know, the love part of it between like you know him and his, like love interest, and then like him up. Damn, oh, Coco so fucking. I was, dude. Yeah, that's this in the theater. Yeah, Coco. I didn't know Simmons was watching. I, I would have like peeped at Simmons to see him like if he was oh, way across the aisle. Yeah. You were in the same theater? No, he was in the, he was in the plane. He watched it in the plane. Yeah, uh, I was on the plane back from Mullocott. Uh, yeah, we should do like... I was like, I was broken at the end of that movie, too. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Second half of that movie goes to the I was, I was, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. Like you said, it's pretty, it's still just pretty damn good early on, but... When they, ah. they, the part when, when he sings, Either. when they go to the one guy in the hammock to get his guitar, and he, he sings in the one last song and puts the drink upside down. I was like, oh, this fucking movie. Oh, <laughs> no. Was, this fucking movie's serious. That's sad. And then, and then af everything after that, from like the yeah. big reveal to the to the, the, the gimmick yeah. Yeah. to everything is really, really good. Like, this movie is, yeah. And not to mention, it's like a gorgeous movie, too. Very pretty. Yeah, my favorite's like Up, Coco, Wally. Wally, Wally was uh, good. Wally was really good. It's just forgettable. I like Wally. Um, Ratatouille, probably? Yeah, I think Ratatouille I think might Jason. be my favorite Pixar yeah. movie. Yeah, Ratatouille's really good. Well, most Brad Bird stuff is really good. DJ Turner, thank you. Except Mission Impossible 4. That looks like. <laughs> I, I liked um, Zootopia is also very fucking good. That's not Pixar. I like. That's true. Uh, I like the uh, message of Zootopia just fucked me up though. Yeah, I, but, I liked. Uh, it's like, hey, Toy Story uh, two. <laughs> you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna get your way. Go ahead and uh, you know break the rules and uh, you know hire this or fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> break the rules and fucking hire this guy that's super shady. Uh, hire the mob to get what you need to get done. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go. Yeah, it's like, oh, you can't get this done? Hire the mob. There is, yeah, there is, like, if like, you really think about it, like. Yeah, the message was so bad. There's a little bit of, like. No. Mm, yeah. got him. Well, you pointed out and so did Honor Oh, Incredibles. Trailers. Oh my god, yes, Incredibles. Incredibles is, like, top three for me. It's, like, Coco, Incredibles, and, uh, Monsters Inc. You know what I'm shocked at? It didn't make me cry like a bitch like Coco. No, no. Like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm shocked right now? Is Coco. Like, I had mentioned the one thing that he should be mentioning. I'm surprised. Huh. I'm really surprised at it. Really. Probably not a bitch anyway. Huh. Well, we said Disney and Pixar. He hasn't even mentioned Pixar. Oh, Wreck-It Ralph. There you go. Well, for Wreck-It Ralph, like, that wasn't Pixar. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph, every single time I watch it, the part in the end... Uh, Arc Cyrenus, the part in the end where... Uh, where the, the girl, like, can't make it, so he stays behind to yeah. go fight the big the big bad boss guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then he he's fighting him, and Turbo he's wear. falling down into the fucking volcano and starts reciting, I'm not bad, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> he starts reciting, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it here. I'm doing, losing it here. Good. And then they start doing this. Doing good. Oh, no, Dumbo's number one. Oh, yeah. wow. Dumbo number really? one. And then fucking like uh, Wreck-It Ralph, Dumbo one, Fuck dude. That dude, I Lion King all day. Dude, no, Dumbo fucking wrecks me every fucking time. Dumbo, to this day. <laughs> nice, yeah. I'm bad, and that's good. <laughs> whatever, whatever the goddamn yeah. speech they yeah, give yeah, at the yeah. beginning of the movie with all the Street Fighter characters. And you know the funny thing about uh, Wreck-It Ralph? He's like, you're not going turbo. And when Bison says that... It's a great in-joke because it's referencing a complete other thing in the movie. Exactly. But it's Bison it's saying turbo. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Like, you're not going turbo, which the, is like another version. The entire word turbo to anyone that grew up in the 80s or 90s, it's Street completely Fighter. associated with Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah. So when that part came on and I watched it, the I The audience laughed. just loses it. Yeah. yeah. When Bison just says the word turbo. Yeah. And it's funny because Street Fighter had so many fucking versions exactly. that it was like it was like that's a bad thing. You don't go turbo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trust me. And we thought it had meant something different than it actually yeah. meant. It's, a, it's such a great joke. Holy shit. Yeah. 
You think they, they, they thought of that? Well, oh, absolutely. I think yeah. that's why they had Bison. That's yeah, why they that's had why Bison, Bison specifically said. say, because yeah. Street Fighter was known to have too many hyperversion Turbo Alpha, you know. Yeah. It was him and Zangief. Those were the only two that were in there that were, uh, that were from Street Fighter. It's funny, Zangief, well, once again, they made him a bad guy. I was like, what the fuck? It was, yeah. the, it was, it was for director. comedic effect. Yeah, was sure. saying that he he felt Zangief was a bad guy. In the arcades. Like he was a bad guy to me. Yeah, I was like, I know he's not a really a bad guy in lore, but he was he was a bad guy to me in back in the arcades. He's a big Russian guy, so it's like he's a bad guy. Well, well, he, he but lost, this was yeah. at the time when it was like when the Iron Curtain was almost still there, <laughs> and Soviet Russia was still a thing. This is very true. Soviet Russia was still a thing when Street Fighter came out. They had Gorbachev in his ending for crying out yeah. loud. I wonder if that's been taken out. They have it in the artwork. Why would they take oh, it out? Yeah, why would they take it out? Weird reasons. Yeah. Russia will not be happy with it. Yeah. Who does not like you? Oh, she like turns into Guizel. Wow. Yeah. What's up, Tubo Wire? Yeah, Iron Giant is pretty uh, fantastic. Iron we want to switch games? We've been on this for a while. Yeah, yeah. switch games. That's Iron Giant's Warner Brothers, and it's honestly, I feel Iron Giant's better than. Any of the other Brad Bird movies. 